Hi, so something a little bit different here. Um, this is a game I bought on Steam, oh, many years ago. Uh, at least five or six years ago, I'm fairly sure. Um, long before I ever um, thought about having a VR setup or anything like that. So I bought and played this a little bit, just as a normal 2D game as it were. Um, as you can see, it's a kind of Lunar Lander simulator, or it is a battle simulator as well, and things like that. I never really got into that. I was just more having fun trying to actually fly a Lunar Lander. And it's... I personally find it terrifyingly difficult. Um, I'm gonna just try and take off and get over to that landing pad over there. Um, I've managed to do that loads of times in a 2D version. Um, in VR, I don't really think I stand much of a chance, but let's give it a go. So, I believe, there we go, that's my vertical thrust. Okay. So let's tilt forward a bit. Oh. I got a horrible feeling that this is going to end up with me just crashing and burning, but it'll be kind of funny. Oh, I overcook that. I overcook that. Okay, so that circle there is my direction of travel. Oh, uh, this is not going to go well. This is not going well at all. I think one of the things, um, oh no, this is, oh, doing this in VR is just so tricky and so weird, I really feel like I'm going to fall over out of my chair while doing this. Um, oh, hello Earth. No, this is going so bad, this is going so bad. Uh, oh, we're dying. Okay, that didn't go so well. Yeah, okay, you don't have to keep showing me my death. The earth looks pretty though. That looks pretty close. How do I get back? Okay, there we go. Yes, I know I crashed, thank you. Alright, I'm going to give this one quick last go. Um, if anyone's been watching uh, For All Mankind on Apple Plus TV, I kind of feel like um, I have sort of... I know it's a fictional thing, but I have new respect for um, flying Lunar Landers and things like that. Every time I watch it, I think of trying to do this. And just actually taking off seems kind of difficult let alone flying around shooting stuff okay so nice and gentle nice and gentle nice and gentle all right let's just kind of leave that there and just tilt forward just a little bit and then hands off Okay, so that keeps us moving forward, so let's try and pull back a bit. No. I want to stop myself tilting. Or rather, I want to maintain a tilt. There we go. I feel like this is one of those sims where I could put quite a lot of time and effort into it and really get a feel for it. Okay. I do actually feel it's better to not keep my hand on the joystick. Because that makes me overcompensate. 
so I'm aiming for that. I also need to um, turn the music off. Turn the music off. Because it's quite nice, but it's also quite loud and distracting. Okay, so hands off, everything's going. I'm actually a little bit worried about my altitude. bump ourselves up a bit. Is there some kind of fuel readout? That might be a good idea. Um, that's handy. Is there anything to show me my fuel situation? Seems to all be nerf stuff. Right, let's see if we can start sliding down. So. Oh, I feel like I've overcooked that. I kind of want to get that circle. Oops. Kind of going straight down, don't they? <sighs> right, definitely overcooked that. Oh, and I tilted over while not looking. Oh, this is going wrong. Well, at least I got closer this time. Made it to the other side of the crate, all right. That, that's a thing. I made a point to aim for as well, right? Okay, I feel that that got better, so let's try one more go. Yes, and I know, look, I pressed it. I know. The stuff's on and everything. Um, okay, I don't really see anything that looks like it would give me a look. That all looks really involved. Fuel, fuel, okay. That, seriously, fuel okay. Is that what we're saying? Maybe that changes. Right, off we go. I think I have to admit that maybe I will need to read the instructions. Right. Forward a bit. Ah, oh. I just realised that the fuel readout's right in front of me. Oh, picture forward too much this time. Oh, managed to actually roll a bit too much. Okay, I'm got it slightly under control. Okay, over there. Not exactly in a good shape right now, but... Okay, 
Could I actually yaw in this? Apparently it's not just turning the... Oh, that's why five missiles. Okay, I realise I've got no idea how to yaw. Overshot again. Overcooking it. Getting. Ah. This is going to take a lot, a lot of practice. Maybe the thing to do to start with is to actually practice taking off, flying away from my takeoff point a little bit, and then landing again. All right, one more go. Let's see if we can even do that. Oh, apparently get yes. I know. I pressed it twice. Okay, and there's more stuff up here. It'll be interesting to see what those things do. Right, so plan this time is lift up a bit, go backwards a bit, try and stop, come forward and set down on here. And we'll call that a win, right? So, let's lift up. There's definitely some more controls I need to be figuring out here. Okay. So let's just tilt back a bit. Right. That's good. So I'm moving back. Also slipping down a little bit, I think. Right. I want to try and counteract that. So tilt forward. Oh, did I just... There's an antenna behind me, isn't there, and I've just bumped into it. Uh, this is going well. I mean, this is kind of a landing. Right? I'm down. Shut up. I bumped into something though, didn't I? I didn't think that through. Did not. Oh. Oh. Um. Help. Help. Oh. You see, I forgot about that. It was a good plan, but I forgot about that. Bounced nicely, though. I think I need to go to Luna Flight School before I do any more of this. Okay, I'm going to stop this one here. I might actually read some instructions and give this a proper test. Thanks for watching. Bye.